Yeah. Right. So your question is how to stay positive and how to stay motivated all the time, right? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Hi, is it Mithil? Yes. Hi Mithil, this is Dave Gedvi and welcome to Tuesday Talk. Hi, how are you? I am good. Are you good? Yeah, I am good. Good time to Thank talk? Thank you so much for calling. Yeah, 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 please. No problem, no problem. So, so you had a question and I thought I will answer your question. Okay, great, yeah. Right, so your question is how to stay positive and how to stay motivated all the time, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. Well, first of all, that's a fantastic question because I think having a positive mindset and staying motivated is so so important. Now, let me tell you. Do I stay motivated always and do I stay positive always? Answer is no. Right? I don't stay positive always. There are days uh-huh. when I actually go on watching binge watching movies, don't do anything, don't feel like doing anything and just relax, okay? and the ability to identify a pattern and switch back again in a positive mode or a motivation mode is the most important thing so as a human being you will not always have positive 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 you know days you will have negative days you will have be demotivated you will be not driven you will be lazy so that's okay we are human beings and that's fine we are not robots but here's what i suggest I believe that motivation is temporary. It will phase out. But what is permanent is the purpose driven life. When I say purpose driven life is my mission is to transform 1 billion lives. If I actually want to achieve 1 billion lives transformation then my effort also has to be up to that mark. so that automatically pushes me to do more and more in life and that stays you know that makes me stay motivated now there are some hacks to it okay and you know again there's a different different conversation to have that hey how do i find my purpose you know like uh-huh. mahatma gandhi did not need motivation okay he was uh-huh. driven by his ambition his purpose right similarly all the successful people they are driven because of the purpose and not the motivation that's number one Number 2 is there are definitely ways how you can have your boost of energy every now and then and motivational videos are one of those but i truly believe is working on your core habits is something which is like a pillar so if i talk about my habit i am uh-huh. used to following a acronym called savers i don't know have you heard of the uh, term savers it's from the miracle uh-huh. morning okay so i'll tell you what savers stands for My day typically starts by me writing my goals every single day, my mission, my vision every single day. I start my day with the positive energy because I control my day and I don't react to hey I need to get and I need to get ready, I need to get, you know, I'm going to have breakfast and get to some place. No, I don't try and let my life control me. I give uh-huh. myself the first half an hour and 1 hour focusing on savers which is S stands for silence. which is i do deep breathing exercises just 2 minutes or 3 minutes deep breathe in and deep breathe out okay and i i repeat this until i have my body full with oxygen number 1 number 2 i write down my goals my mission and vision that's number 2 right then okay. a stands for affirmation so affirmations like i use affirmation like i am a legend and i have transformed 1 billion lives i repeatedly say this loudly and that really gives me a boost to start my day every day in a positive note i have transformed billions of lives i am a legend i am a legend i have transformed billions of lives then there is an exercise which i do which is the visualization so i see myself impacting billions of lives on the stage i do the gratitude and visualization uh, you know video again i can send you the link my team can send you the link but that gives uh-huh. me more energy so s a v visualization then then i go for an exercise so again more physical movement when you move your body when you have the blood circulation high you will automatically be motivated 
So having the adrenal rush in the morning is very, very crucial. So that is E, right? And then comes to your um, R, which is the reading part. I listen to audio books while I'm working out, while I'm cooking, while I'm traveling. So positive thoughts always keeps running in my life and there's no place for negativity. Like, you know, people watch a lot of news, entertainment, you know, news usually puts garbage in your head. So that creates more negativity in your own life. Then comes your, you know, uh, scribble. S part is scribble, which is writing your goals or writing your, you know, whatever you, you want to do today or what you are like journaling, right? So this savers is the habit which I've ingrained in my life and it keeps me driving every single day. So there are days where I miss out on savers, that's okay. But majority of the majority of the time, I make sure that I don't forget to follow the savers. So these are the two things. Find your purpose, follow daily discipline of savers and you will always be motivated and always be positive, okay? This is the number two. Most important, the most important is helping others to stay motivated and positive right uh -huh. when you uh -huh. want when you want love you should give love when you want money give money when you want positivity and motivation you give motivation to others so i have right. my whatsapp communities where i do my exclusive tips every day i make social media videos and posts and all so it automatically drives me to do more and stay positive so i think anybody who follows these three things i think that there will be no lack of motivation uh, there won't be any you know lack of motivation in their life uh -huh. But in case I agree with your fact, like I, I agree with all your points and all, you know, but then sometimes there are times that, as you said, like every day cannot be a positive day and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But then there are times like when you get into negative, honestly, I mean, and you want to come out of it, immediately it's not possible. Yet. But then in, at such times, like suppose if it's like more than a day or two or maybe a week's time or something, like something is very disturbing for you or something like that mm. and you want to come out of it. And so what are the things like in between I tried to read books also, like I read Robin Sharma's uh, Daily Inspirational Quotes, then I was reading about the Harvard Business Review, about the communication, etc. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to divert my mind from some certain things, from negative things and all. Right. But I couldn't do that. I mean, even that was not helping me. Mm. So... Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. What What is your mission in life? What do you want to do? Uh, well, I have a lot of things to do. I mean, uh, maybe uh, very basic, basic things. But like I like a normal human being, I'm, I want to be like, I'm working. So I want to be a very successful businesswoman. And I want to set an example for every woman. Like, you know, who, I mean, because like I belong to a Guchu and Jain family. So mm -hmm. it's very difficult to, it's like, you know, proving every single minute I have to prove myself. Like, why am I working? What is the need of working? You know, like they have the tendency, like what is the need of, uh, like my son is earning pretty much well, etc. You have a house, you have a car and that's more than sufficient. You don't have to work, etc, etc. Mm -hmm. So it's like every minute we have to prove ourselves, like, you know, why we are working, why we also have a passion, I also have a dream. So I want to become a successful, maybe whatever, in whatever I'm doing, I want to be successful, I want to set an example for every woman who wants to pursue their dreams or something in whatever, maybe they, if they want to start a business or whatever their dream is, but I want to set an example for everyone. That's that's really good. You know what? You're already ahead of 90% of the population because people don't even think in that direction. So congratulations, you're on the right track. Now, I cannot give you a um, you know one answer which will transform your life. But uh -huh. one of the reasons why we, you know, we go in negative zone and we stay in negative zone is there is no trigger, right? So it becomes a habit. So there's always a pattern, right? Now, for example, there, there was time when, you know, whenever there's an evening, my trigger was there is an evening, there's a trigger. And the action because of the trigger was I will start my Netflix and I start watching movies, right? And the outcome is I waste time. So identifying this pattern that, hey, certain time or certain, you know, things which happens, which triggers this habit. Now, you have to recognize that trigger in your life that, you know what, certain time I'm demotivated or I'm low because of this, this, and this is the regular pattern. Now, I need to break that pattern. So if I break the trigger, then automatically my habit starts improving and outcome also starts improving. So if, if you can recognize that these are the things which puts me in negative thing, you need to have a counter action trigger for that. So you know what? In the evening, instead of starting a movie, let me go for a walk. You know, that's, that's where I'm breaking a pattern now. 
right? So instead of evening and sitting and binge watching movie, let me go for a walk. Let me do something which I don't do usually in my day. So uh -huh. that could be that could be definitely one of those. Number two is surround yourself with people who are positive and ambitious and driven. Now yeah. it's very difficult to find those people, especially just within our vicinity. So find a community of people who are online or WhatsApp groups where you have a lot of positivity. Even if you're down, maybe one message can just you know ignite a fire back in you, and you will be back in your drive. Uh -huh. Makes sense. Because today only actually I was talking to one of my, uh, you know, there is one person, I mean, I truly believe in her. Mm -hmm. So she is also a very successful businesswoman. I mean, she is like, you know, she is a regional marketing director and she, is, and she has become at a very small uh, age and also I was just asking her, you know, like how can I become, how can, what is the strategy I need to use and what are the successful habits I need to follow in, etc, etc. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to, you know, figure out like what are the things which I can obviously, I cannot be the same person, but at least I can follow, I can, I mean, follow her way or direction or something like that and I can use those also. So I was just thinking like and she advised me like you should have a mentor in life mm -hmm. and I mean you know you can guide you and in case if you're going the wrong direction it may seem right to you but then it may be incorrect like and you might not know it and, and I mean so 100%. she just advised me that you need to have a mentor exception yes. in my life I mean. hundred percent I am big believer of having a mentor in life and you know that's why i follow dan Locke religiously and i have signed up for his mentorship program we all need a mentor in life so you know because and especially mentor who has done what you're looking to achieve is the most important part right and not everybody uh -huh. can be a mentor right there are a lot of coaches trainers consultants but mentors are rare breed so i agree with your friend you know if she is successful if she's got a you know that kind of advice you should definitely find a mentor Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But then to ask, like, I mean, can I? Because in between, I was looking. I don't know. I mean, in real life, if I look when my people, who, I, you know, I may get a biased opinion or something like that. So I just wanted someone who can who is, who doesn't know me well or something like that, and he can he or she can give me an unbiased opinion. Right. Maybe it's a professional or personal or whatever. I mean. Right. So, and that is what it guided me to, you know, follow you and uh, uh, the stand off, etc. And that uh, brought me to, you know, your the so yeah. This sure. was one of the reasons actually, to be honest. No, that's that's fine, and I'm really glad that we connected. And anything I can do for you, I'm more than happy. So. Uh, you know, here's what I would suggest if you really want to understand how I got success and how I made a lot of money and I'm, you know, I am who I am today. Uh, I, I recommend you read my book, 80% Mindset, 20% Skills. And uh -huh. it, it will give you a step by step formula on how you can become unstoppable, how you can have like, you know, life transformation in nine days. It's a very easy way I put my, you know, journey into it. And, the, you know, I put the process how you can. So uh, everything that I'm doing. I put that in that book, how you can transform your life. So I, I recommend you do that. And okay. if you are interested, you know, we are, uh, you know, I am doing a lot of workshops. Uh, are you based in Mumbai somewhere? Okay. Yeah, where, where exactly? Which city are you in? Uh, I stay in Mumbai. Mumbai. So I am going to conduct my workshop, uh, which is called One Crore Coaches, uh, One Crore Coach and Consultant where I'm going to help you know, people to build their business around passion, share my secrets on how I build my business around passion without any physical product, without network marketing, without anything. So if you want, I will ask my team to send you the link and I'm also sponsoring some of the people. So go ahead and do that. And if there's anything that I can do, I'll be more than happy to do for you. Okay, okay. Yeah, please, please send me the link and I will, I would like, definitely would like to attend uh, one of your seminars if, if can I do. Sure, sure. All right, Mithil, thank you so much for your time and I hope you enjoyed this talk, the Tuesday talk with Dave Gadby. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for calling me and giving me so, such uh, great advices. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Have a nice day. You too, you too. Thank Take you. Take care. Bye-bye.